Hi everyone, my name is Karishma Shah and I am a kindergarten teacher. In this video, I will be sharing 5 great tips to start off your school year virtually. Keeping the pandemic situation in mind, I think most of the schools are going to start virtually this year. So, here are some great tips that will help you prepare your lessons. Now, these tips are focused for somebody who is going to take their classes live. Although, most of them are even useful if you're not going to teach live, but send your lessons in form of pre-recorded videos. Yes, so let's begin and let's look at the tips. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoy today's content. Get to know your students. It is really, really important to know your students before you start the class. They are not going to listen to you if they don't know you or if they are not comfortable with you. So, how do we do this virtually? My advice would be meet them one on one before you formally start your class. Meet the students and the parent one on one and introduce yourself to them that hey my name is XYZ and I am going to be your teacher and I am super super excited to have you in our class where we are going to have lots and lots of fun. Ask them, talk to them. Ask them about their favorite things, their likes. Let me tell you what I did. I prepared a Google form with lots of pictures where I wanted to know about the child's favorite food, favorite characters and what they like doing etc etc. I sent this form to the parents via email and all the children had to do was just select their favorite pictures and send it back to me. Now before I met the child one on one personally, I had some idea about him or her and I used that to build the conversation. For example, if I knew that the child liked Peppa Pig, I said, hey, you know what? I have a friend whom you really, really like and here he is. Say hi to Peppa. He is my friend too and he is really, really excited and happy to have you because we are going to have lots and lots of fun. And that's how I started talking to the kids. I got to know them, I, I spoke to the parents, I understood them, talked to the parents, addressed their queries. This will help them build that trust in you and even the kids will feel comfortable and super excited to come to your class. Essential Agreements It is really, really important to decide on essential agreements at the beginning of your year to maintain that discipline and smoothness of your classes. Get along with your students and decide on some agreements or some expectations that you all can lay down together to follow in your classroom and make it a very, very nice and happy classroom. What I did was a role play where I became David from the famous David series and I came uh, all dressed like a student to the class and I was behaving very naughty. I spoke very loudly and I was touching the screen, I put my camera off, I was lazing around, I was not responding and the kids were super engaged while looking at me. And after that I asked the kids, so kids how did you find David? And they are like, oh no, no, you know, we, we found David uh, very naughty, he was not listening, he was not waiting for his turn to talk, and he was very distracting, and so on. And uh, they are like, no, no, we don't want to uh, be like David. So I asked them, how do you expect yourself and your friends to be in the class? And each one of them came up with a very nice agreement that they wanted to follow in the class. And when it comes from them, they are bound to follow it. After that, we made a visual chart with all the agreements that we decided and we look at it every morning. So you can do something like that. You can ask them about their expectations from themselves and their friends and have a visual created and decide on the essential agreements. This will help you keep the discipline and the smoothness in the class going on. Routine. Routines are extremely, extremely important and they are really helpful when they are set right from the beginning of the year. 
I feel setting into a routine takes a little more time when we are in a virtual classroom. But when it's set right from the beginning, it will be very, very helpful and very, very smooth in transitioning. Pick up any routine that you like. In case of young learners, you can start with a circle time, a hello song, talk about the day and get them excited. In case of older children, you can ask them about the previous day, what they did, what they would like to share with their friends and so on. This can also be taken as transition time or ice breaking time. They will be super, super excited and this, this will get the energy of your class very high. All this will create an excitement at the beginning of your class and it will help the kids to be focused throughout the lesson. Routines will also help children to follow instructions clearly, which will be a great benefit virtually. Have a routine for the kids to use the washroom, have water, some brain breaks. Routines will help your kids to transition into your classroom better and it will really help in the transition to be smooth. Once the kids start understanding and following the routine, it will be very easy for them to work independently and not take much help from adults or parents to do everything. This will save on a lot of time and energy for you and you won't have to repeat the same instructions every every time. Procedures it is very important to think about the procedure or a system that you are going to follow during your year. So, plan everything that you are going to be doing in the class. Think about the app that you are going to use. Think about uh, how you are going to communicate to the students and parents. How you want the kids to do their work. And how you want them to submit their work. It is very important for you to communicate the procedures clearly to the students and in case of young learners to the parents. Take them through each and every step in detail. Initially it will take a little time and effort but gradually you will find that your class is getting organized. Understand that most of them haven't even explored the technology we are expecting them to do. So make it very very clear Give them that extra help if required and you will see that the class has transitioned very well and is getting organized. And make your classes run very very smoothly and systematically. Plan the curriculum. Now all of us want our students to learn something that they really want to learn rather than we teaching them. So. It is very important to, for you to understand your students right at the beginning. Gauge what are they interested in. Plan some assessments to know how much they already know. You don't want to teach the students the same thing that they know. It's going to be damn boring. Find out their interests. Build your curriculum around that. Look at how much the students already know and take it ahead from there. This will also help you in personalized learning which is again very essential for virtual classroom, for virtual or remote learning. This will also help you differentiate your instructions for different groups of children and make learning more personalized. So do try these tips and let us know how they work for you. If you have any other idea that has worked for you well, then put them in the comment section below. We would really like to know it. Before the end, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you like today's content. Until then, take care.